Part one of the Black Friday special is up. We have the Ecli, yes, the Ecli Ecli, beautiful playmat here, the limited edition, a little bit more zoomed in on the facial structure. We have 18 of those in stock. We have 47 of the regular mat. And then we have 94 copies of Field Center. If you enter code ECC15 on checkout with these three items, you will get the chance to get 15% off any sort of combination of two or more of these. You're probably like, what's everything else here? Well, all of this excess stuff will be on sale Friday morning along with, yes, ladies and gentlemen, the new next project with Gem. I will have these up then. Now let's go dig on into Marco Watch, shall we? Three point eight percent of you've not smashed eleven crap of that scrap and smashed it so we can get to hundred k. So about this ghost from the past frenzy last night. Everybody's been asking, hey, hey, where can I find ghosts from the past, Robbie? Cheapest ghosts from the past available right now. Ten displays, six hundred thirty-six fifty. If you use code What's Good Five, that price is actually going to get knocked down even freaking more. And that's with free shipping, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're somebody that's looking for ghosts from the past out here, somebody that's been wanting to find the best deals right here, right now, this is what you're looking at at this point in time. So take advantage of that. Uh, now, throughout the entire day, I've been asked, hey, Robbie, talk about Small World. Hey, hey, Robbie, after those results, all right, Lost World, or Small World is just now insane in price. 51 listings. This card topped out at $65 yesterday. Uh, a lot of players kind of lost their minds, and uh, we've seen the price go right back down. Um, I think that this card is good. Uh, don't get me wrong. I think it's probably one of the better options in modern Yu-Gi-Oh!, but my problem is it's still a neg one. I understand that it has some really freaking cool interactions and searchability, but that was one event, all right? Yes, it was in about half of the top cut for the event, but remember... This is an online event. Um, money still plays a factor in the game. That was a zero-sum event where all sorts of players can play everything without money being an issue. So with that being said, I don't know how well this will perform adjusting over the next two weeks once more paper and more regionals kind of return. But you're now aware of it. You know what's going on. So now you can't be caught with your pants down. So keep an eye on this for now. All right, Dynatherium, of course, all right? This was the card that we were using in combination with Small World and the Lyricalist deck out of this past weekend. All right, it gives you that extra like searchability window so you can use that Small World and take advantage of what you wanna do. If you ask me, I think this is dumb expensive at this point. I just understand that, you know, for combo potential and things like that, but you're still looking at about $18 at this point in time, so. I guess do with you will, or do what you will with that info. It's just, it sucks that this thing went back up. Thank you for being in premium gold, by the way. Next up here is Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. Now, we've, we've been watching this card for a little while now. We know this is one of the cards that has the, uh, the classic win condition for you to, you know, win the duel and all this fun, fancy stuff. But as you can see, like, our curve has been going up for quite some time. There's been a whole lot of easier interactions with this to get those materials more streamlined. Uh, at this point in time, yeah, just be aware that we are at $9. I'm not really surprised about that there. El Donego. Ah, yes, $131, $133. Access Machines at $60. Okay. And then $27 on El Dorado. Okay. Uh, the alternate IPs at $19. 17 listings, by the way. They are actually getting bought out. Wow. Pot of Extraps hitting on up to the $20 mark. Okay. Chamber Dragon Maid still at $15. Bucks. Invo is still about $10. Bucks. Wonder how long that'll hold. The Red Eyes are at $10. So those are going up. Same thing with the Blue Eyes. Hmm. 20 listings, by the way. That's interesting. I see that the Unicorn here, six, seven bucks. Uh, the Whistle Cat, uh, actually kind of interesting. I wonder uh, how well those will do. I'm really glad to see that we had to put this cat on the wrong listing, by the way. Hmm. How do you mess that up, by the way? Whatever. And then regular cats, four bucks. All right, Baron de Fleur. Well, um, good news is they're heading down, uh, the way it looks. 106, 100, 112, uh, 114 here for light play, okay. 
Baron's finally calming down, at least a little bit. I, I, I mean, seven bucks off from like the 120, 124 we were seeing. Okay, like that's good. Next up here is Necros of Curious. Been a little while since we've looked at these actually. Uh, first editions look like they just kind of recently rebounded here. I see the first ed, eh, 10 for light play, for, or, excuse me, for on them. And then 11, 12? Okay, so first eds are floating about the $12 mark. Yeah, I don't think that's bad. Caius the Ultimate Monarch. Why in the world are these? Holy crap, 196, 197. Why? Holy crap, they're actually selling. I'm actually, I'm actually disgusted by that. That's, wow. Never in my day did I think that this card would just go this terminal, in my opinion. Um, I'm actually super surprised about that. Uh, remember, guys, Black Friday stuff is, is up early. All right, remember, you can get those field centers and those mats right now. And use ECC15 on the website and save. All right, it's super easy. Liquid Soldiers. Oh, boy. I love how we have nine listings, by the way. People out here really just going to buy the German copies. Okay, 64 bucks. Heading on up here to 75 Heading on over here to 80 Okay. Not bad. I see that... Go Ugh, man, I'm not surprised about this. All right, Ghost Reapers. The first editions of these have been going up still like four or five bucks. Okay. <laughs> 2017 versions are five bucks. I don't think that's bad. I see that the Shining Victory versions here are also going up at this point in time. Uh, we'll have to wait and see really how much how much higher can these Ghost Reapers go? Ladies and gentlemen, 19 bucks. Okay, 20 bucks, sure, 24, 25. Now yeah, they're still going, okay. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. Uh, last first ed sold at 67 and then 30 and then 65. Okay. Wow. That whole first page is just all bad conditions. Okay. See mod plays here. 65. All right. That's not bad. 71. Sure. Uh, yeah, we really are hitting about the $73 mark there. All right. And then 80 for first ed. That's kind of, man, those old collector's cards. Cyber Twin Dragon. Oh no, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be expensive. I already know. Oh no. Frickin' 300. Ugh. I hate this. 500. Yep. Cyber twins are five hundred dollars. So bad. Meta Morphosis. Yeah, that's fifteen hundred dollars. I know. Uh the other copies. We already know these are all like ten bucks. Going forward here, I see the first deck copies uh, on the market range here were twelve bucks. Uh, yeah, you've just set, uh, six bucks there for like what and seven. Okay, well, all right. Next up, one for one ultra rares. These are still fifteen freaking dollars. The advent calendar, all other ultras are fifteen dollars. Supers, well, I personally still think super looks the best. That looks like supers are I see nine ten bucks. 10 bucks, okay, sure. Next up here, Psychic Tracker. Wow, Psychic Tracker. This thing's actually a dollar. Yo, you get them, Psychic Tracker. I see you've calmed down a little bit here. But yeah, Psychic Tracker is actually a dollar at this point, okay. Dingrisus. Um, I just wanted to check out the Dual Overload version here. Yeah, the Dual Overload version's finally actually topped out at $8. It's actually good, considering that was like a former, like very cheap version of the card, okay. Rose Fairies. Oh boy, these are still like three dollars. The apps, if you got old bulk from this era, just go look for these stupid old Rose Fairies. These are good two to three dollar cards, and they're maintaining. Uh, Silent Magicians. This card, it's it's doesn't have we're we don't have a reprint window for this. We've been fifty bucks, forty two. Yeah, looks like we've been in the high forties for a little while here. I see forty three. 34 for light play, 39. Yeah, this has been going up for a while. D shifters. We're down to about eight to nine dollars post shipping at the moment for these. It's not bad. Fusion Destiny Ultra Airs. These were $16 last I looked. I crap you not here. These these actually went up even further. 
24 $25. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, supers. Why why do we have one year for $2? Oh, there's the picture. Delicious. All right. But these are also $20. Yep, Fusion Destiny topped out at 20 bucks. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment about Tony Trace. Thanks. Smash the love and crip. Uh, subscribe in so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day with some more cool, awesome content. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing troubleshooting videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardway Vanguard content brought to you by Mco 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcogames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.